So first I'm going to start off by painting a few of my items with a homemade chalk paint. And if you're interested in how I did that, I can leave the instructions down in the description box. And I'm going to be painting a pumpkin shape that I got from the Dollar Tree and two 75% off um, signs that I got from Hobby Lobby for, I believe, $3.50 to $3.25 each. Okay, so for this first DIY, it's going to be super simple. After my sign is nice and dry, I'm going to be taking this Farm Fresh Pumpkins lawn stake, take it apart. I'm just going to simply turn the arrow over and add my own decal that I made with my Cricut machine and just glue it all to the sign and it's just super simple, super easy. Besides painting my base, which was my Hobby Lobby sign, I'd say adding the decal was pretty much, you know, I guess the most work I had to do in making this DIY, but it was just so simple and so easy, and it just looks really nice with my decor and my color scheme, and hopefully, you know, you're able to, and you know, if you can't pick up a sign from Hobby Lobby, maybe use an old frame that you have, or if you can find, you know, those really nice big ones at your dollar tree then you'd be able to use that but unfortunately they only had small ones at mine so i just decided to use some hobby lobby clearance finds and here it is all nice and done and set up and i just love it and i hope you do too okay so for this next diy i picked up this thankful sign from hobby lobby and i don't know if you can hear my one and a half year old singing in the background sorry if you do but um i got the sign from hobby lobby i no sorry dollar tree got the scrapbook paper from um, hobby lobby for 50 percent off and i'm going to modge podge i hate saying that word modge podge it onto my sign um actually i'm going to use a glue stick because i couldn't find my modge podge and uh, the glue stick worked just fine and it's holding up really well for the way I assembled everything. So yeah, if you don't have any of that Mod Podge, just get a glue stick, it works just fine. But here I just measured and um, just got my X-Acto knife and started cutting away. Okay, so to my annoyance, I do not have the footage of me making tassels or um, painting the sign, but I did paint it in the Waverly Chalk Paint Pumpkin, and I used nautical rope from Dollar Tree to make the tassels. And I, I think I hear I'm trying to show you that I have two options you can use: um, the twine from Dollar Tree. Here I use twine from my my macrame stuff that I have and I wrapped it with copper wire. I'm using some needles to thread it through my tassels. I picked up these, I think it's like a picture hanging kit from Dollar Tree and I just drilled little holes in to help me screw them in better. And yeah, it's it was not hard, it's really easy just screwing it in here. Um, and then I'm going to assemble my um, tassels, uh, my little rope of tassels. I'm so sorry. Like I said in other videos, I'm not much of a talker, but when I do talk, I ramble. And then when I talk on YouTube, I ramble and I sound like I don't know words. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, I'm, I'm still, you know, out of my comfort zone with this. But I just have this like want, you know, to just share what I do. And it's just a little creative outlet for me. So, you know, thank you for taking the time to watch this as painful as it might be. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so after I attach my tassels and forget to glue my thing sign, <laughs> I am going to give my tassels a little trim and then I'm going to glue my thing sign down um, once I know I have it in the right place and once my tassels are in the right place. And yeah, that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Here it is. Now, like I said, I did paint my thankful sign in Waverly Chalk Paint Pumpkin. I wish I would have spray painted it, but I didn't have any. Um, it would have just been much, I think, cleaner and nicer to have done so to get into all those little nooks and crannies. Um, but still, even with some bare spots here and there, I like it and um, it looks good. It's going to go really well with my decor. And I paired it with some of the floral from Dollar Tree, some of these feathers and faux wheat. And I'm also going to be using those in another DIY that I have coming up next week using uh, the leopard print or cheetah print for fall. So stay tuned for that. I am excited. It's something different. But yeah, here is my thankful sign. Um, again, another easy DIY using Dollar Tree products and just putting it together with clearance items from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby or if again just like the other one if you have an old frame or a thrifted frame or if you can find one from Dollar Tree you know you can use whatever you you feel that you have the means to get okay so moving on to the next project i got my pumpkin that i painted white earlier some jute twine some leather that i cut into my desired shape using my cricut and i also had my cricut write the word gather i'm going to be using these tacks that i got for 50 percent off at hobby lobby um you can totally just use whatever tacks that you have you know for your cork boards um and yeah i'm just gonna measure it glue it and then put my tacks down and once my tacks are down, since this board is really thin, they're going to poke through on the back side, as you see here. So I'm just going to get my hot glue and just really put a generous amount over them to protect, you know, myself or, you know, if my little one grabs it from poking himself. And I'm just going to wrap my twine around the stem. add glue you know with every turn of the twine not till the end here where you know I didn't really have anything to hold on to so I just make sure I added glue each time I added twine and yeah that's pretty much it this is a really easy DIY um, again if you can't find you know I used faux leather off of Amazon that I used in other projects that I've done around here so you know I already had that on hand um, you can use scrapbook paper or maybe any type of material you may find at Dollar Tree um, but here is the stake from the first DIY that I used and I tried to very carefully just kind of like saw it down then snap it in half and it was pretty much that easy I did add a little stain just because you know kind of had that card particle board type look to it whatever it is cardboard and I did get my dowel and a drill bit and just kind of you know size it the best that I could and I just drilled a hole in the middle of my stake and that's what I'm going to use to attach um, my pumpkin to the stand I'm just going to glue my dowel to the back of my pumpkin and glue my dowel into the stand and again I don't have footage of that yeah my phone this is the first time that's ever happened to me I think it has to do with my storage and yeah it's just a whole thing I could literally ramble on about that but I'm not <laughs> Okay, so given the fact that I had pretty much everything on hand, um, this cost me under $2.50 to make. I just needed to buy my tax, which I could have gotten at the dollar store. I didn't realize they were pretty much the same thing. And I paid a dollar for the pumpkin. So under $2.50, I am very pleased with this DIY. <laughs> 
Okay, so for my last DIY, I'm going to be using four of these very popular pumpkins from Dollar Tree, um, pumpkin signs. I'm gonna take off the bows. I will not be using those. And I'm going to be putting some Goo Gone. Um, sometimes I, I have seen this at the Dollar Tree, but I've had this one, I got this one at Walmart, you know, a long time ago. And I use it for so many different things. But I'm gonna spray some on generously let it sit i think i just walked away and like cleaned or did something for five minutes came back literally just scraped off so easily um i had tried taking the stickers off before without the goo gone and it was going to take me forever and i remembered duh olivia you have goo gone so yeah it's just that simple gave them a wipe down and washed them off in the sink Okay, so here I am folding my scrapbook paper in half and again I'm going to be using the same pattern that I used for my second DIY I believe um, just so you know everything kind of goes together I'm going to be mod podging this because I found my mod podge on uh, to these pumpkins and I love using my silicone silicone um, brushes that I use for my epoxy cups I love using this with my Mod Podge too because it just comes on so smooth and I feel like I use less and waste much less than when I use my foam brushes. But yeah, just, you know, rub it in and kind of just fold it towards the edges because then I'm going to be sanding it down in the next video, I believe. And I just sand off my edges and it just comes off really nice and clean because if I were just to put my paper upside down, trace the pumpkin and then cut with scissors, I always cut extra off. I never ever get a good, you know, cut. So I find this way to be much easier and it literally just looks like the paper's always been there. right nice clean edges I love it so after I did that to all four I cut out a faux leather leaf with my Cricut and these three letters to spell out the word fall um, this is some old scrapbook paper that I had from I believe um, almost three Thanksgivings ago and yeah I keep all my scraps I literally had just enough for these three letters um, but yeah I'm just gonna mod podge that on um, just a little just to you know adhere the letters to the signs and then once those are on I will go over the whole thing with mod podge again just to you know give it a protective layer So for the last and final step, I'm going to take my jute twine and wrap it up about halfway up the stem. And like I said, I'm not going to be using those wrap it bows. I really just like the simplicity of the jute twine. It just really goes more with my style. And yeah, I love it. I have to say this is my favorite DIY out of all four. All right, I am all done. Now this one cost me about under $4.50 to make, and I love it. You cannot beat that. This cute for under $4.50. I just love it, it's my favorite. And I just wanna say thank you so much for watching, and I hope you get inspired by at least one of these and go and make something beautiful for your home.